Everybody, please welcome Joy McCarthy. Come on out here, Joy. Oh, oh, so good. Good. So good. Good. good to see you too. You're welcome. Come on in yeah, here. Thank well, you. It is flu season. Yes. Poor Stevens. He's at so home. He gets him. He's he gets to eat all these foods. Absolutely. <laughs> well, he gets himself the doozy every time. You know, this is yeah, the time totally. of the year. So you, we're going to talk about flu um, remedies, but yes. uh, we always think about colds and flus and what we can do while we have them. Yes. You think start before that. Exactly. So it's all about prevention, so you don't end up getting really sick. So of course, we always think of vitamin C when we think of boosting the immune system because it helps to boost white blood cells, which are infection-fighting cells. But that's totally obvious. We always know vitamin. C. Always do that. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, so Stephen, uh, if you're watching, take your yeah, vitamin, vitamin C, C right C, now. Okay. Exactly. You better so. be watching. If anybody should be watching, <laughs> he should be watching. Yes, you better Am I be. right? Exactly. <laughs> so what I've done is I've put together here some lesser known okay. uh, vitamins and minerals that can help keep our immune system strong so okay. we avoid getting colds and flus okay. and feel joyous all season long. <laughs> feel joyous all season long. Okay. Uh, the first one here you say is vitamin D. Yes. We, should be, we should be taking so our vitamin, vitamin D, D to help. Now, what is exactly. vitamin D doing for us? Yeah, so vitamin D helps to identify the bad bacteria and the viruses before they take hold of us and make us sick. So it really helps to boost the immune system. But the challenge is that, as you can see here, there are not a lot of options for vitamin D. It's not abundant in foods, we really. We can get it from the sun, I'm Yes, yeah, sunshine heard. vitamin. Okay, but we don't but have sunshine all year round. Exactly. And 40 to 70% of people are deficient, especially in Canada okay. and in North America, because the days are shorter, we're not getting as much sunshine. Okay. So so, you know, supplementation is a good option, but we also have a variety of fish, okay. good source of, of vitamin D. Up let's to let's like, go through some of them that are, that, yeah. that are really good sources. What yeah. do you have so here? Salmon is great. Salmon can be up to 500 IUs of vitamin D. Okay, um, wow. We have eggs and uh, sardines. Now, don't knock them till you try I, them. Do I you love, like sardines? I love yeah, them. I, I, I love sardines, I have them at too. I think I'm the only person in the world. Yes, but you know what? People are kind of freaked out because they don't look that appetizing. And they don't smell that great because no. the whole room now <laughs> smells like these sardines. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Right but minute. you know what? Give, squeeze it with some lemon, yes. some sea salt. Yeah. Have it with a salad. Good protein. I fat. actually warm them up on a frying pan. I know oh, I'm you? insane, but no, I do. That yeah, get really, them warm. Really good. Get them nice and crispy. So if and not, then, and so how much should you take? Because I know there's a certain amount of vitamin D, and then you can kind of go over as well, yes, right? Yes, totally. Well, you know, everyone's different. Depends on your age, okay. what your health history is. So as a bare minimum, at least a thousand I use. But you can take a lot more than that. I mean, okay. I'm taking a lot more than a thousand. I actually have pretty adequate levels, but right. also it helps to prevent the winter blues too, just as a, what like a side What else can a lack of vitamin benefit. D do to you? What, what are the symptoms of not having a lot of yeah, vitamin D so, in your system? Yeah, so I mean, it's definitely linked with autoimmune conditions as well, okay. like multiple sclero sclerosis, okay. MS, yes. um, Crohn's disease as well. We yeah. see low vitamin D. So more D. autoimmune diseases. Yes, okay. yes. So keep your vitamin D levels up. So that's up. important, Super guys. Important. You get that? Okay. Yes. Good stuff. <laughs> Write it down. Yeah. The next one here we have is Our this is vitamin A. Yes. So carotenoids are a family of vitamins. So beta carotene, you probably heard of, which is plant-based vitamin A, yeah. alpha carotene, uh, lutein, lycopene, basically all these brightly colored vegetables. Right, uh, which are really in season right now. So this is a yes. great time to get these. Absolutely, these are really things nice like time. kale and our sweet potato. Okay. So these really help to boost natural killer cells. And natural killer cells are exactly what you think they are. They actually emit toxins and uh, destroy bad bacteria that can make us sick. Okay. And by the way, these are all great sources of vitamin C, which we need more of anyways. Okay, so. it looks like a rainbow in here, so go for the rainbow. Yes. If you're going to put go together for the a meal, rainbow. make it look like a rainbow. Eat a rainbow. Okay, and I'm not That's talking candy. That's great advice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, no all candy. Right. So the next probiotics. one we're going to talk about is probiotics. I know this yeah. is important, but I don't yes. know a lot about them. Yeah, so 70 to 80% of our immune system like literally lives in our gut. Okay. So the type of bacteria that you consume literally influence the outcome. And so your, your bacteria greatly influences your immune system. So these are all good sources. So for example, kimchi. Have you had kimchi I before? I love it personally. Anybody tried kimchi by applause? Yes? Yeah, yeah, so good. Good. I love it's it with scrambled great. eggs. Yeah. With eggs? Scrambled yeah. eggs? So it's wow. fermented cabbage and carrots. It's spicy. It has things like ginger. I go right out of the jar. Yep. I and, love it. And it's literally like a prebiotic too. So that's also important. Explain is the that, difference there. So the prebiotic feeds the good bacteria. So you want to have a balance of both. And for 
fermented foods do that. We also have miso paste, yeah. uh, tempeh, kefir. Not everyone knows what kefir this is. This is awesome. I take it like milk form. It's almost like yeah, a milk. I exactly. drink it. So that's yeah. a great idea to put in your smoothie yeah. as well. Yeah. Really, really high in good bacteria and all food sources. I mean, of course, you can take a supplement, yeah. but I always say food first with everything, and then, and then supplements are, are secondary. Good job. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> zinc. This is not something yeah. I hear about for men especially. So important. But I don't know about it as yes. uh, for, yeah, for, zinc for, for men helping is important. kill the uh, the cold virus. Yes. Yeah, so survive. zinc keeps the immune system really strong. Okay. It actually influences your immune cell function. Okay. So it affects your cells, literally, your immune system uh, cells. So we have a variety of zinc-rich mm -hmm. foods. Yeah. Mushrooms are wonderful. All the things uh, I love. And spinach, great yeah. source of vitamin C, plus our carotenoids. So you can see there's zinc. some crossover. So, and now with the zinc, can you take too much? Because I, yes, I know you, you can. can. So I'm glad you brought that up because there are certain minerals that I don't recommend that you supplement unless you've been advised by a healthcare practitioner Got exactly it. how much you should so take. So you can go in and get a zinc test to see you if your can. zink is too high or yeah, too low? I would or... recommend eating a wide variety of foods okay. and then that's when a multivitamin can come into effect. That's right. a great option. But don't take a, a zinc by itself no. unless you're told by a practitioner. Le exactly, because okay. it can offset other minerals as well and you, you don't want to mess around with your body's okay. chemistry so with taking high doses. So talk to someone who knows what they're doing exactly. first. Exactly, and okay. eat a wide variety of foods Got and it. take okay. a multi is a great and option too. And the red too. meat as well. I, yes. I think that's great. Yeah, that's a good source of zinc too. Perfect, who, okay. Who eat meat. So let's go on to the selenium. <laughs> how do you say this? Selenium? Selenium. Selenium, yes, okay. Selenium. So the selenium, what is this doing for us? So uh, similar to the carotenoids, this helps to boost natural killer cells. Okay. And it also really helps to mobilize cancer fighting cells. Okay. So these are sel some selenium rich foods and you can again see how there's crossover of other nutrients here. Right, so, so when, we we're, when we're eating that for the, for the uh, vitamin D vitamin over there, D? we're actually Go. getting some selenium in it as exactly. well. So oats. think that way. Oats, so having okay. oats, you know, at breakfast, making yeah. a nice porridge or okay. making your own granola. I'm seeing garlic. garlic is wonderful. I eat it it's, raw. That's the best way to have it. Okay, I it's do. It's nature's antibiotic, as no I like to, to call kiss it. No one wants to but that's good. I've been with for 26 years. What do you, who cares? You I know, know I'm I ate a lot of garlic yeah. last night, too. I was I a little I can totally worried. smell it, but I'm cool you with that. No, I can't. I'm kidding you. I'm totally kidding with you. Well, no, I, I wouldn't cannot. be surprised. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, be able to tell, because I eat yeah. it every day. So okay, we're, we're probably it's just so killing everybody you. here. But raw, that's that's the key, Yeah, I chop it up. I let it sit for 10 minutes, and then I eat it. So we've got a nice tea here with lemon. So lemon's a good source of vitamin C. Very detoxifying as well. Yeah. We're going to put some raw honey in and as well. And why the honey? Oh, honey is so immune boosting. Okay. It is fantastic. It really, really helps to prepare the immune system and prevent. But this is if you actually get a bad cold yeah. or you've got a sore throat, honey is so, so soothing. Okay. So, you know, this this kind of tea has been around for centuries. So and eat all of this take advantage and have of a drink of this and you should be fine.